In the government's latest response... You must stay at home. Master of the house, doling out the charm. It's very important that everyone... Know that you are, you are not alone. G'day, nerds. So I hope we're all staying safe and um, uninfected. And if you are, look after yourself. Uh, but one of the questions I get from my colleagues fairly often uh, when they start using Google Slides is how do you put animations or um, transitions in there? The first thing I would say is when it comes to transitions, don't. Um, but for animations and transitions, it's a little less obvious than it is in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, um, there's a lot of these aspects actually in Google Slides which are a little less obvious than they are in PowerPoint. And that's one of the things that I think stops a lot of people from coming over to um, Google Slides. I'm fairly agnostic. I like to use both depending on whatever. For example, I use um, slides to share with my colleagues and share with my students because it's much more it's just a bit better at the interactivity and uh, multiple users than say um, PowerPoint is. And it always will be, but PowerPoint's always going to be a little bit easier to use. So here's what I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you how to do it. All right, so first off, we're going to insert um, some animations. We'll do some animations first. And there's lots of reasons you do this. One, like when you're giving a presentation, if you have more than one thing on the screen at a time, they are the people who are working on it. They're going to be reading the whole thing. Right? They won't be listening to you. So if you animate it so that only little bits pop up at a time, that allows you to control the flow. Oh, we has got a lot more light. The clouds went away. Um, that allows you to control the flow of what your audience is actually paying attention to. So let's have a look. So because I'm a superhero, I'm, I've got these in the not in a way that makes me happy. I'm going to bring that across. I'm going to move that up a little bit just for the sake of this. And I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to click on all of those. So if I go over here to insert, I can come down to animation. Now, I, so this actually, when we're doing multiple things, um, it allows us to work in a way that, yeah, okay, this works, allows us to work in a really simple way. It gives us this panel. First off, if we want to do a transition, we can put that up here. Um, we've got all the regular ones um, and you can apply to all slides. So for example, we could go dissolve. Um, we want fast, we'll go apply to all slides. Um, I will get rid of that because I think transitions are Satan's work, but fair enough. Um, so here is the the thing that I want. We can fade in. Um, I like appear nice and simple with previous um, by paragraph. We see there's only one um, paragraph on this one, so we don't need to do that. Um, yep, that's fine. That's just all the speed options. Now we'll close that down, so that's good. And they fade in on a click. Um, and I want to go. Ah, oh, okay, hang on a sec. So this is actually something that gets a bit tricky. Um, again, appear because we want it to be nice and simple. Um, and then we go with previous. So with previous means it will go one, two, three. And I want them to come in on a click so I can control it a lot easier. Um, and then we come down here. That's the same one. It's been animated twice. So if we click on the two of, that's the next one. We go by paragraph, because see how there's multiples in there? Uh, fade in on click, and again, appear. And we see how they're in order. If I want to change the order around, I can actually drag up and down. That's the order I want though. And I can check my work by pressing play. So, is our crossfade. Um, then we click it, click it, and one more. There we go. Now that works. 
Um, that means we don't have to keep going to present mode to check our work. And in doing that, I found that this one should be above there. So now let's check our work. Again, we go from crossfade, it's gross, don't ever do it. Um, I could talk about this graph, I'd be like, yep, here we go. Um, here's a reaction rate. So I press click. Um, the rate of reaction is what it is. I'm like, but there's a uh, an equation for this. Um, and here it is. And then um, I want this next bit of an explanation, see? So I'd give people time to write this down if we're in a class. And then I would talk and go bang. Here's the last one. Give them time, then talk about it. Um, remember, try and give time when people are writing and don't just talk at the same time because they won't be able to pay attention to it. Uh, stop, that's good, and then we just close off this box. So you highlight what you click on, what you want to animate, and you press animate. Now, if you just want to put on a... Um, so just say I wanted to change the... set up the uh, transitions with no animations, I'd still have to click on something and click on animation. Now the slight problem is that it has made this an animation and I don't want that so I'm going to get rid of that but it allows me then move into this section up here. So for example I might want to move from dissolve to slide from right. That'll be fun. Now we play. See so it looks like ah oh, here's my thing and then we can click through and and so forth as we've shown before. Um, so I hope that made sense. If you have any questions uh, put them in the comments below. Don't be afraid of Google Slides. I know it's a little bit different to PowerPoint, which is what sort of <laughs> most of us were all sort of weaned on. Um, both are very, very good. But yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below and we'll be back to you as quick as we can. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye now.